Um, are you still watching Remy? Yes, I'm still watching Remy. He's in the other room with Chewie. I think they're hanging out. I'll go running if anything goes down, but nothing goes down. They, they like each other. So we're back with our girl, Julia Eras, our fearless era teen heartthrob. She currently has a girlfriend and she needs, but she needs to have had three first kisses. Now she invited her girlfriend to prom, but then her brother invited the same girl to prom and he didn't know that it was her girlfriend. And the girl said, yes, this is the girl. The girl said yes to both of them. She's playing the siblings. Uh, Abigail Woods, they both have a crush on Abigail Woods and Abigail Woods said b yes to both of them. However, Julia also has a crush on some other people. So Julia, she's not so, she's not that innocent. We were gonna have prom, but unfortunately prom was canceled. We showed up and it glitched and prom didn't happen. So we're having our own prom. And it's happening, I believe, it's happening in 20 minutes. I, I decorated it at a different location. It's called a black and white bash, but I'm gonna change the outfits for Juliet and Steven because they have their own like gold outfits. So it'll be really fun. Um, we can't, unfortunately can't like vote on who's like prom king and queen and stuff, but they're gonna be able to like dance and eat and drama is gonna go down. And I think this is when Juliet's gonna um, have a, uh, two more first kisses. <laughs> She's gonna kiss two other people during prom and it's gonna be, mm -mm. yeah, popcorn, 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 TTT, like we're doing that. So Gigi, thank you so much for the heart me. Heidi, thank you so much for the heart me. Cammy, thank you so much for the rose. The drama will be dramaing and we love it. So let's get started. We're gonna hang out here in the rain, I guess. Um, she needs hygiene. So like, actually, let's just take care of your cheeky little hygiene really fast. Okay, we're gonna just quickly do that. And do you need anything, Steven? Steven doesn't need anything. So I think while she goes over and does that. <laughs> okay, they got really loud. We're gonna actually brighten her day. Also, they're gonna fight. It is neighborhood brawl day. So I thought it might be funny if like Steven and her fight, but they get over it really fast, a la neighborhood brawls. So he's gonna actually kind of start, you know, romancing Abigail. He's got a crush on her too, look! He's enamored. Okay, let's start. The black and white bash is going to begin. Drama! I love it. Um, Yes. I need my snacks for this drama. Nari, you should go get snacks. I'm just telling you all right now, it's gonna all be going down. Abigail's gotta stop embarrassing me. I'm sorry, Sophia. <laughs> I'm sorry I used her in a, as a pawn in my games. Okay, oh God, okay. Who put Juliet in that? That's what I don't wanna know. All right, we're gonna really quick change her outfit. Okay, we're gonna put her in this, I think, for her first one. Oh my gosh, she's so cute. And then we're gonna pop in Steven. Honestly, Steven looks great. So we're gonna keep that. And then what are these two girls wearing? Abigail, I'm gonna put your outfit. Um, let's see if your outfit is like better. Oh yeah, it's cuties. Okay, we're gonna put Abigail in her little outfit and then we're gonna put um, her in this outfit. Dresser, change outfit. Yeah, okay, great. Like, yeah, why wouldn't you just put her in that? That's gorgeous. Okay, so our black and white event is here. Look who's here, a random stranger that wasn't invited. Perfect. Okay, so let's get everybody at the black and white bash to go to the to the bash. I'm gonna make sure to add, like form a little group and add everybody to it. Wait, Romeo Knight is here, but not the Romeo that we really wanted to be here. That's okay. We're gonna all go dance together on the dance floor. Wait, why? Hello, we need to be playing. Listen to prom night. Yeah, it's prom night music, please. And thank you. Okay, everyone's going in to the prom. This is our, oh my God, this is, yes. Okay, someone else has joined. Martina, okay, she can join. She, we, okay, she's in our group technically, but it's fine. And this is our, uh, Agatha Crumplebottom is our, um, <laughs> I, I put her as like our, um, the person, the teacher that's like watching the students. What is that called again? I forgot the word, but that's who she is. Okay, that's why Agatha Crumplebottom is there. Okay. No Dory or Misha. Yeah, I don't know why Dory, Misha. Wait, no, Misha's here. 
I thought Misha was here. No, that's that's Darby. And Arnie's here. Yeah, I don't know. People Bro, we need we need Romeo because she's got a crush on Romeo, Julia does, but maybe she'll kiss two other people tonight. You know, we're all we're vibing, we're dancing, we're gonna fill the fountain with chocolate and fruit punch, and we're gonna serve everything. Oh, we dancing out here, okay? The party is started. We're gonna serve everything and fill the fountain with fruit punch. It'll be my brother's job to do that. Okay, there's a little bit too much music going on. So everyone's dancing. Oh God, there's like people outside that we don't know. Where did she go? Juliet's in here. Okay, but we need our brother to start dancing. Oh, he wants to chat with Juliet. That's so cute. But we need to start dancing with our date. Maybe like romancing her. <gasps> Maybe he can attempt to kiss with her. Ooh, boy. Okay, but because he thinks it's his date. Okay, he thinks this is his date. Abigail Woods is his date. I wonder if they can like dance together too. Oh my God, he's trying to kiss her. <gasps> they just kissed! Oh my God, I hope she saw that and is gonna be mad. What is What to say crushing so hard on someone nearby? <gasps> oh, be jealous. It's up oh, there, she's gonna be jealous. Oh my gosh, oh my gosh, oh my gosh. She's gonna be so mad. She's gonna be so mad. Okay, they're gonna they're gonna sweetheart dance together, him and Abigail. He literally, I just feel bad because he literally thinks that like this is his date. Oh my god! Also, we're being haunted, so that's kind of fun. All right, I'm gonna put up their dances more. Oh no, Abigail and Juliet are having a fight. He's chatting and she's like, um, excuse me, you are my girlfriend. Why? He doesn't know. He doesn't know that they're dating. He didn't know. Steven just like, Steven hasn't asked. Listen, this is his younger sister. He hasn't asked her a lot about her life, okay? They're siblings. Oh, wait, Romeo. Wait, Aaron Brinkley's here. And so is Brent Foster. Why is Romeo not here? That's okay. You know, maybe it's for the best. She'll, she'll like make out with two other Sims and then she'll like break all their hearts and eventually end up with Romeo. Um. Uh, but yeah, so <laughs> Steven did not know that his, who his sister was dating. He had no idea. And in her defense, it's like, okay, they have, they're going to have to have like an argument here. They're going to argue about school stuff. They're going to so argue in the middle of, <laughs> of this. Oh my God. Mary just got promoted. Go Mary, go. Okay. Yeah. We're so going to argue right now. Steven's like trying to dance with uh, his date and yeah, him and his sister are not getting along. Look at Abigail. She's like, what the heck? <laughs> Just taking photos of himself looking hot next to her. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. We got, girl, we gotta, we gotta get in there. This is where they vote and stuff for their um, prom king and queen, but we obviously can't do that. Unfortunately, I wish we could. Okay, when are you gonna stop dancing though? Okay, we need you to stop dancing so that you can get in an argument with your girlfriend. You'll be like, why would you do that? That's my brother, you know that's my brother. Does she know it's her brother? I don't actually know, that's a great point. I mean, they don't look that similar, but they do have the same last name. So come on, Abigail, all right? What did you do, girl? <gasps> Ooh, she's drama. Oh, look, Steven. It says Steven always felt confident in his belief in the supernatural. <laughs> I thought <laughs> Steven, Steven just had a pop up for fears. And I literally thought it was going to be like, he always felt confident. And now he's really unconfident because he's in this drama. No, it's literally about the ghost that's in that's in the house. He's like, I saw a flipping ghost and now I'm traumatized. <laughs> Steven always felt super confident in his belief in the supernatural. Something about that last ghost sighting unnerved him. Seeing is believing and now Steven can't get, <laughs> can't get the thought out of his head that ghosts could be. <laughs> <coughs> oh my God. Jess and Chris, thank you so much for nine months. You are now a danger, baby. Let's go. 
Florida Loon, thank you so much for 17 months. Wicked Ivy, thank you so much for your first month. Welcome to our quest for world domination. Cuckoo Banana Rama, thank you so much for 23 months. Sandy Squirrel, thank you so much for three months. Katie, thank you so much for nine months. Two Turner, thank you so much for giving out a community sub. You are a rock star. Holly and Rizzle, thank you so much for 16 months. Let's get some two, let's some Oprahs for Two Turner to celebrate. And some thank you so much for the resub. Two Turner, thank you so much for the resub as well. Sim G, thank you so much for the bit. Solon Pruitt, thank you so much for 10 months. I love it. Um, oh my gosh, Kiko, thank you so much for the bits. Hitsmaker, thank you so much for 23 months. Uh, and Aeoli, thank you so much for 25. I always say Aeoli, and I'm pretty sure that's not how it's pronounced, but regardless. You've been watching me for two years? Oh my gosh, thank you. Maya, thank you so much for the rose. Let's get a shout out in on TikTok for Maya in the moment. Tune in in. Oh my gosh, a fellow TikToker, content creator extraordinaire, like funniest girl ever. Go get her a follow if you're not already. Um, she's also a Sims lover, so you know, obviously she's got great taste, okay, in games. He's giving me Ken vibes. Steven Eras is just Ken. And he's He's doing well. These two are not doing well, but I think she's gonna fight her brother because she's kind of mad <laughs> at both of them. But it's, wait, but it's also, wait, I thought that they could fight because it's the neighborhood brawl day. Yeah, she's gonna fight both of them because it's neighborhood brawl day. <laughs> and I think it's funny because everyone should brawl <laughs> on neighborhood brawl day, apparently. Yeah, he's enough. What are you doing, bro? He wants to still wants to sweetheart dance with her. He's like, I still want to dance. Oh my gosh, look, Jeanette showed up. Go off, Jeanette. Okay, he went over to eat some snacks. Go off, Steven. He's like, I don't know how to feel about any of this. Look who also is here. It's Karen Caliente. Maybe we make out with Karen. I don't know. She is a little Caliente. I'm just saying. Who else is here? <gasps> Romeo Rose. It's our crush, Romeo Rose. He finally showed. This is um, this is Juliet's other crush. I think this is the guy she'll end up with because I just think he's so cute. And his name's Romeo. And one of you guys made him. But I think she'll end up with Romeo Rose, and um, that's who she gets pregnant with because she gets pregnant with like a friend or like a lover from her teenhood or something. That's part of the requirements of the Fearless era. So they're gonna be having this speak now, baby, but she's gotta have a lot of drama before then. So we're gonna fight some people. She's, oh no, she's developing a mood swing. Womp womp. <laughs> All right, why don't you, she's gonna go fight her brother now. She's She's got a mood swing. She's very sad. Time to wear black and drifting love. She's like, everything sucks. And I'm fighting my brother at prom. She is fighting her brother at prom. All of the prom people are like, girl, what is going on? Oh my gosh. We might have to use the restroom after this, uh, but we're fighting our brother at prom and everybody's watching and it's awkward. Drama. We're definitely gonna have to kiss a new sim though after this. Um, and then they gave a hug afterwards. That's so cute. And now she's leaving. Um, I feel like him and Abigail should not be working. <laughs> I don't know what he's gonna do. <coughs> Juliet's very sad. Very, very sad. She's, um, she's, her crush is upset. Yeah, no wonder, cause she's being rude. Why don't you go find someone else to kiss? Oh my God, look at all the boys hanging out watching <laughs> games. That's so cute. Okay, who are we friends with that we could maybe kiss? Okay, no. Arnie Wheeler, maybe we could kiss you. Darby, we could probably kiss. Sydney Price is an adult. Chantel Song. I feel like Romeo Knight, we should try to kiss. We should try to kiss Romeo Knight. So let's gloomy compliment. Gosh, darn it, dirt. girl. Why you like this? Okay, why don't you make some jokes about ducks? Don't we have some requirements? Let me look up the requirements again. Cause I feel like one of the requirements is comedy. So maybe we'll just be helping with that. Uh, there's so many, I'm doing so many different, I've dealt with so many different like, uh, like things with requirements that I literally can't remember all of them. Yes, Max Charisma and comedy. Okay, so we'll work on our comedy on him and then hopefully Romeo Knight and us will make out, you know? So we're gonna try to cheer ourselves up by cheering him. Oh my God, she's crying on the toilet. <laughs> Juliet! Don't cry on the toilet. You know what? Maybe give yourself a little peppy talk, okay? You got this, girl, okay? It's all good. You got this. You use the restroom. 
you're gonna get back out there. All right. Yes. Okay. And you're also gonna get out of here because Darby needs to use the bathroom. So you're gonna actually like stop. But okay, you're gonna get out there. Okay, Darby actually is comfortable enough with you. Oh, someone's doing the push-ups on the dance floor. That's the most Sims thing I've ever heard. Okay, let's get to where's the Romeo Knight. Okay, perfect. Romeo Knight, because we're kind of friends with him. Let's do some comedy and work on our jokes. They probably won't be that good because she's sad, but we're going to try anyway. Watch the comedy show on TV. Oh, she does. That's the other thing that I normally do. We're actually currently all the way up to comedy level four. I don't want to brag, but she's telling all the jokes. But normally I noticed that if you like, if you are like joking around and stuff with other Sims, it cheers you and them up pretty quickly. So hopefully that's gonna help, we'll see. She is pretty sad, I'm not gonna lie. Um, yeah. Also, please note, she's not breaking up with her girlfriend, by the way. She's also not done that, which is kind of sad. I'm like, girl, are they finding these jokes funny or not? Nah? A little bit, a little bit, yes, maybe? Rave about favorite singers, maybe? Think for coming? I don't know. Abigail just became good friends with Steven. Abigail and Steven are still talking. Drama. Oh my gosh, such drama. We're still trying to work on our, our jokes here. I feel like my, my music could go down a little bit so we can just hear the music from the prom. The music from the prom is pretty loud. So we're gonna try to brighten his day. I just feel like she should be like, maybe she could dance with him. I don't know. Her, her like sadness is just so strong though. <laughs> I don't think she's gonna like be that into it, but she's giving him a joke gift. Is he gonna laugh? He's like, you jokester. Oh, he liked it. Okay. They just became good friends. Oh, cute. Okay. They're gonna be good friends. Green. Maybe we should give him a romantic gift of bubbles. No, we'll give him. Maybe we'll try to we'll try to compliment him. I don't think it's gonna work, but you know what? We might as well try to you know give him a little something. Okay, wait. He liked it. He liked it. Okay. He's loyal. Okay. This is interesting. This is interesting. We can tell more jokes about ducks. Oh my God, look at Romeo Rose laughing at all her jokes, just sitting there like, wow, she's so beautiful. And yet she won't notice him right now. She's all focused on this other Romeo because she wants to like make her girlfriend jealous, which is very funny to me. <laughs> but yet she won't, she's like too sad. I want her to be not sad. How do I like quickly, maybe there's a reward store thing that we can do where we can be like, no more sad. <laughs> I want you to be happy. Flirty potion, boom. There we got it. She's flirty all of a sudden. You know why? Because she had a drink. She had a drink that she snuck into prom. It might not be appropriate for prom, but she grabbed it and she's gonna drink it and she's gonna make herself flirty so that she'll make out with someone else. We love this for her. Drink your drink, girly. Drink your drink, quick, 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 quick. Before the prom ends. No, I don't want to end early. I want to extend it. How do I extend it? Girl, drink the drink quick. Stop talking, drink your drink. Girl, drink your drink! Did you drink it? I'm not seeing you drink this drink. Thank God, okay, finally. Wait, why is, why is the, the event is over? Ah, the event is over and she's not flirty enough to make out with him. I am so annoyed. No, Juliet, she's crying. She's fully crying in front of her girlfriend on the dance floor. Wow. Oh my God, devastated. Okay, well, that didn't quite work the way I planned, but it's all good. You know what? I think that's kind of funny that it did not work out. She was like, I'm gonna make out with everyone. I think it really broke her heart. Um, I think she should have a deep conversation with her brother about what just went down. So they're gonna have some deep, deep talk. 
And then they're going to make peace after their fight, which is very cute. I didn't know that that was the thing. And then they're going to um, ask for advice. She's going to just talk to her brother about this because she's pretty devastated. Meanwhile, Steven's feeling fine. He's like, I, I think he won the fight. Yeah, he won the fight with his, he won the physical fight with his sister. So very cute. <laughs> but yeah, maybe we'll get back to school flirty. You know, it's going to be okay. Um, but she needs to sleep, so she'll probably go to sleep. Um, it's Sunday, though, because there's so there's a whole day, you know? And she's going to go give herself another pep talk. Steven's going to go sleep on a bench. You can just go home then, Steven. Juliet's going back into the room. Oh, we could have taken photos. Maybe take a sad photo. I, I love that, like, thing where people will take photos of themselves crying. <laughs> I think it's so funny that I feel like it's hilarious that she has a photo of herself from prom crying. <laughs> it's so funny. Oh my god, I love I want to I can't wait to see it when it develops. Is it cute? I want to see it. I want to look at it. I can't tell what it is. We'll look at it I guess when we get home. Is there anyone here? There's no one here, but she's going to we're going to steal the food. Because we paid for this food, okay? So we're going to take it with us. We're taking it all home with us. Mom's going to love it. Our our dad's not going to love it as much because, you know, like, honestly, he is a chef. So he'll probably be like, what the heck? But this was fun partying in this haunted mansion with everybody. You know, her brother's now developed a fear of, of stuff. Look at her looking at her sad photo. Like, ah, oh, I remember this night. Another picture to burn. Sad. Ah. Oh. Oh, in her best dress, fearless. Don't worry, girly pop. You know, the next dance you go to, hopefully you'll have a more romantic experience. Okay, I'm sorry, girl. RIP. The depression memories, exactly. So Bowie voice. Yes, I do have Bowie's voice because it is my voice. What about a rebound with the bad boy? Ooh, maybe he should be on my list for sure on uh, people that she'll rebound with. Actually, this is a good idea. I love that. She needs to kiss someone. Have you tried Coraline Lind yet? No, I still have it. I have I have a couple games that I'm playing on my own, like downtime, like Disney Dreamlight Valley and stuff. And I've just been so into them that I haven't really been doing too much else. So once I kind of finish up some of those games, I'll definitely check out Coral Island. I hear great things about it. Have you guys been, have any of you guys been playing it? Oh my God, I want to see this. So she has a photo of her and her girlfriend where her girlfriend is pushing her face away. So now she has a sad photo of her from. It's so funny. Oh my God. It's kind of like a, what a little journey she went on. It's so cute. I love it. I love it. All right. So she's going to go to sleep and her brother is going to take care of his needs as well. We need to take care of his stuff. Maybe grab some leftovers. There's a lot of food in there. Um, Dad's home. He's hanging out as usual in his son's like bed. I don't know why he does that. I guess he's like watching this TV. I don't know why you can't watch this TV though. I wish I could like say... You know, like, don't watch that TV. It's for the kids. But whatever. He likes to hang out in their room, probably just to get to know them, supposedly. Maybe you could go sit with your... With your... Actually, I forgot their fiancés. So we should give them a little hug. They need to have a wedding pretty at some point soon. Um, Steven's eating some midnight snackies. Juliet's in bed. She's just devastated. Wait, but her sadness is gone. Dang it. Maybe we'll wake up and, like, you know, find someone to kiss. And then it, it doesn't make us feel better and we're devastated. <laughs> I don't know. It'd be funny. Uh, let's take a quick little shower. Okay, go take a little speedy shower. Oh. Look at these two, so cute. And then he'll go to bed. And then I think Drew also needs a shower, but he's romancing his fiance. So cute. They're just so, I wish, that, I'm surprised they're not better friends. So maybe they need to have better, like, deeper conversations here. <laughs> but they're so into each other, it's very cute. So it's all good. Steven's finishing up his shower. Gonna go off to bed. Maybe Drew should clean that and take a little shower of his own. How's he doing in work? He's head dishwasher. He's level two. But he's almost 
uh, promoted. Mary is top of her musical career. She's like crushing it. She's a concert virtuoso. Uh, we could work on her guitar for fun. Not that she needs it, but you know, she's just she's just a celeb. She, I think she's a multi-star celebrity. She's a three. She's a solid B-lister, yeah. So she's pretty cool. She's kind of a big deal. She doesn't have this. This whole thing feels glitched to me because we have not gotten any more fame points to get up here, which is weird. Um, but regardless, it's all good. He cleaned up that toilet that desperately needed it. Our cat is catting. Governor Mittens is govern governing very well. Look at that. Gorgeous. Love that for me. Artemis Prime, thank you so much for 17 months. We got some requests here. We got a remix. We got um, also a uh, stretch. Someone do our nice little stretch. Melissa Matters, thank you so much for requesting a stretch. And Fleur de Lune, thank you so much for requesting a deep breath. We'll take a deep breath in. And let it out. Gorgeous. And then we'll do a sneaky little remix. Some of you love it, some of you hate it, but people still request it. So here we are in the remix. We're remixing. Mary Ayers is playing her guitar. And it's Drew Debut. Drew Debut. <laughs> Drew Debut is so cute. He always thinks out the garbage and that's why we love him. Listen, I know that's a really low bar, but our old ex-husband was kind of a punk. So we love Drew. Drew looks at me. Remixed. <laughs> Tears on my guitar. Remix. Um, we need to use some food as well. We'll get some leftovers. Drew's also using the toilet. Mary's crushing her musical talents. I think she's level eight of guitar, so she's doing a good job. Drew's listening. Look at him just sitting in his chair watching his woman. He loves his woman. Oh, I love it. Oh, it's so cute. Oh my gosh, so cute. And thank you so much to Shaylor Jen for the remix. Okay, we're done. <laughs> I hope you guys liked it. Toodles and noodles, thank you so much for reminding me to save, please. We would not want to miss out on all the drama that is happening. And Golden Pass has requested a voice, a silly voice. I will do that shortly. Um, remind me in like... Five, minutes, five to ten minutes to do the voice. I like to space out my uh, my weird things that I do while I'm playing The Sims. So uh, since we just did a remix, we're gonna wait. Uh, but yeah, I think I'm an episode behind. I don't recall a new cat. Well then, yeah, you're a couple episodes behind. Governor Mittens has joined the fray. Uh, it's been great. This is so Kelsey. I can't, Lorelai. It is so Kelsey because I. And I get to do whatever I want, apparently. Let's go. Okay. When is Juliet ready to go, though? So I'm so ready for her to be up and at him. I want to go make some drama with Juliet. Maybe watch some TV. Get her requirements. We're almost halfway through Christmas and comedy, so I'm kind of trying to get to level five at least today. What other requirements do we can we work on right now? Complete this uh, serial romantic aspiration. That's kind of what we're working on right now. Experience at least two significant breakups. I'm pretty sure this one's gonna be a big breakup because it's her first, her first big breakup. Have three best friends. Do we currently have three best? I don't think we do. I think we need to make some best friends. Steven could technically be one of her best friends, her older brother. I think Darby's one of her closest friends. So I feel like Darby could be a best friend. I feel like maybe I feel like maybe uh, Chantel's up there with friendship. We got Arnie up there as well. I think they could be a, a good little trio. Uh, but yeah, we need to make our, our, oh, we need three best friends. So actually we need a fourth, fourth, a uh, quattro. <laughs> um, and we need to join a career. We actually did join a career, I forgot. We have work in two days. We are a nano influencer. 
We need to reach the level two of the entrepreneur skill for promotion, but I think we're going to be fine. I'm not too worried about it. And then, um, yeah, have children with your teenage love. So our teenage love, I am predicting will be Romeo Rose. We just haven't kind of started loving on him yet. So we, we're going to have like another, I mean, how much longer are we a teen for? We're for one, two, three, four days. So, you know, we might cuss a couple people and then uh, mosey over to Romeo since uh, we don't want him. We only have so many days to be in love. You know what I'm saying? It's good to hear your voice, Mary. I wanted to ask you if I should get to know uh, Zafira a little better as a friend. Yeah, sure. All right, girly girl. We got to get you hustling, okay? Maybe watch your comedy show while you eat watch the comedy channel while you eat your breakfast little little twofer right there there we go she's finishing up her food oh retail therapy wait my dad wants me to go so what is that look he's rocking ew uh, i'm not gonna go i'm sorry dad i don't want to i don't want to go is he calling steven now no destiny goth is calling which is actually his childhood best friend which is cute Okay, we're stinky now, but we're going to finish up this uh, requirement of comedy right now because she's watching TV. So we're going to finish that really quick. Who is the stranger at my house? Leland Rhodes. I don't know why he's here. We're not going to talk to him. Oh, she's going to take a shower. Why is he knocking on the door? Leland, we don't know you, so we're not going to answer that. I'm sorry. Why are you taking a bath? A bath is such a weird choice. Oh, Darby just became good friends with Eliz Juliet. Yes. I love it. I love it. Okay. All right. And we should practice our speech We're really quick. Really, really quick. And then, oh, hello. Oh my gosh, this is really weird. You're like so hot. We got a fan telling us that we're hot, which is fun. Destiny Goss wants to go over to her house and hang out. I mean, we could do like a group hang and maybe someone there and then, and then we kiss them. I'm okay with that. Juliet's gonna go, not Abigail, obviously. And then maybe our, who did we wanna kiss? Oh, Misha Black, right? Cause we were saying we we're going for the bad boy now. Uh, we did, we were saying Romeo Knight, but we, we course corrected. Okay, we're, we might go for Romeo Knight still, but I feel like Misha Black, you know, might be good uh, kind of thing. Again, she still hasn't broken up with her girlfriend. I would not recommend anyone do this. <laughs> But that's what she's going to do. Can you please do Bago's voice, please? Well, I don't play Bago. I actually play Bowie. But I know exactly what you're asking for. Um, I, I tend to only do voices when they're requested of me through, like, my Twitch requests. Um, <clears throat> and I I don't I do not do them all the time because I, li I like to, you know, space it out a little bit. But I'll do a little Bago, or a Bo Bowie for you really quick just because you asked so, so nicely. What's up, buddy? My name's Bowie. Welcome to, oh my god, the worst day of my life. All right, buddy. You stay great out there. And that's that's all I got. <laughs> uh, so there you go. Speaking of character voice, we got a request from Golden Paws to do Edna Mode. I don't know if I can do a good Edna Mode. Let's see if I can. I'm going to look up Edna Mode's voice. Edna mode, Edna mode, being iconic, perfect. This is also not Edna mode. It's like a ad for something. So let's skip ahead. I'm okay. I'm gonna listen. What is it? Who are you? What do you want? Who is it? What do you want? What are you? What do you want? Ah, okay. I can maybe do it. We're going to try. Golden Paws, we're trying it for you. Put one minute on the clock. Set a timer for one minute. Hello. Welcome. No. Hello. No. <laughs> Hello. Welcome. Nope. Okay. That's it. <laughs> I thought I had it. I so don't. I'm going to pause this. I'm going to give that back to you, Golden Paws. Apologies. I cannot do Edna mode today. We tried our best. Not for very long, but we did try. Why is Misha Black in this fit? I love it though. 
slay. But also, he looks way less like a bad boy and more like a good boy. Regardless, Juliet's going to be all over this. Like, white on right. <laughs> She's going to give him a bold pickup line and be like, oh, you look good today. And we're going to hang out with Destiny and be like, oh my gosh, hey. It's good to see you. Maybe give her a nice hug. Because they were like childhood besties. So we'll give her a nice hug. And then, oh my gosh, why are there two horses? He is a horse boy. This is the best day of his life. He's going to introduce himself to all these horses. Also, we are at the Goths house. Apparently, the Goths have three horses and nowhere to keep them. So that's fun. Also, she's looking good for her age. Bella Goth. Let's go. Looking hot as usual. Okay, anyway, Juliet, though. I'm gonna go hit on Misha, who's apparently friends with Destiny Goth. I actually am not surprised by this that they're friends. Whoa, okay. They're walking around a lot of a lot of horse here. Okay, so she's flirting a lot with Misha Black. Being like, hey, you know, we want might might want a bit of a bad boy moment. Brighten her day. Brighten that day. We could like embrace and give him like a hug. Be like, oh my gosh, it's so cool to see you. I feel like we've never hung out before. Maybe we should exchange numbers. Secretly, she mostly wants to just make out. Compliment his outfit. She's gonna use all of her comedy and other stuff. Oh, look at Steven still chatting with his friend. That's so cute. Meanwhile, back to the drama. Oh, wow. That was a very intimate hug. Okay. They are, they are, something's going on here. Something is going on here. Uh, we're, we're going to, oh, Steven just became acquaintances with the horse. He's so happy. He's like, I love horses. Horses are the best. Let's discuss. Let's, I want to give you all apples. Apples for everyone. <laughs> <laughs> Meanwhile, his sister's just flirting up a storm. She can't help it, okay? She's just a big old flirt. She can't help that. She. Oh my gosh, first kiss! Yes! Oh my gosh, she's gonna have a kiss with him. He is so smitten, kitten. But she's not. It's not that serious between these two. She's just having fun. Steven is such a Ken. He is obsessed with horses. They do have tail wraps for the horses. Okay, here we go. She's gonna have a nice kiss while while Steven's just hanging out with the horse. <laughs> no, he's going in for cereal. <laughs> Wait, but he he has a desire. He wants to chat with his crush. <laughs> he still has a crush with her, even though <laughs> even though that's her girlfriend. Drama. Okay, we had our our second of three kisses. Okay, we need a third kiss. All right, we're kind of done with hanging out with you. Sorry, boy. All right, is there another sim in here we can kind of kiss? I know there's there's Destiny Goth. I think these sims are too old for us. There's Alexander Goth, yeah, he's a young adult. He's way too old for us. And he was like the youngest son. So yeah, not gonna work out for us. Maybe we could invite someone else over. No, we should go hang out. I mean, we could try to kiss Destiny, but I feel like that would be kind of rude. <laughs> so maybe let's go use the toilet. Where, where's Steven going? Steven's going to go get a uh, cereal and then maybe talk to more horses. <laughs> he just loves his horses. He is afraid of ghosts, but he wants to fight a ghost. He's so Ken coded. How did I not notice this before? I love it. What's up, Nora? I love this. I want, really want Rep to be a vampire. Ooh, we, I love that idea. That would be so fun. Uh -huh. Um, I love that. I love it, love, love, love it. Okay, why well, the horses are so cramped? Let's like hand feed another horse. There we go. He's gonna go to ha hang out with the horses. We're gonna let him hang out with the horses. He loves horses. We're gonna, he's gonna tell Agamemnon what a fantastic name for a horse. <laughs> he's gonna talk to Agamemnon and then he might, um, you know, he might try to go for a little, little, uh, relaxed ride with Agamemnon. Meanwhile, Destiny Goth, his bestie, is talking to another horse. No wonder Destiny Goth and him got along. They both love horses. All right, he and Agamemnon are vibing, so good luck, boys. Juliet's, ooh, practicing a debate. Instead, you should practice your speech. Work on that charisma, girl. 
She's gonna do that. Work on her requirements here. We're almost to level five, so that's awesome. She's definitely feeling herself after getting that kiss with uh, with um, uh, the bad boy. But she definitely needs a breakup. She needs to get that other kiss, though, to have significant... I guess we could date... Oh, my dad's calling. He wants to chat. Okay, fine. We could, like, go on a... We could date our... our Because it says... Okay, the requirement is... Okay, have children with your teenage love. That doesn't necessarily mean that they stay together. So maybe she falls for Romeo uh, next and then they have a huge breakup because maybe she moves to a different part of town or something and he stays in one place. She kind of sows her wild oats and then she has her kids with him. I feel like that'd be cute. I think that's a cute little plot that we got there. Um, so stay Steven <laughs> riding his horses. I'm just Ken anywhere else like it's literally like uh, Juliet going Ken uh, go do something else <laughs> we love that plot nice do you have the rules somewhere I want to do this challenge so bad yes you can find the rules um the user is at midnights 162 on tiktok you can also find a link on my YouTube channels, um, my youtube.com slash more Kelsey and PHK. On every single video I have there of the VODs of these streams, I have links now in the descriptions for that. So if you can't find it, it is linked somewhere. I have a link somewhere for you, but it's Midnight's 164, I believe, posted the challenge first. That's where I was tagged. 162. Midnight's 162 um, posted the challenge. I know there's like a couple different ones too. So like maybe that's why you might be confused. But it looks like we've been hanging for enough time. So maybe we should go somewhere else. Let's travel together. We'll have Steven and us travel together. And maybe we run into... Um, we could, I mean, it's Sunday evening. Maybe we just go home, work on our skills, and then tomorrow we'll fall in love. I think that that sounds like a great idea. Also, for tomorrow we break up with our girlfriend. Let's be real. Although we could break up with our girlfriend today. We're getting a chatty family call. Steven is still talking to horses. He's gonna scratch neck. Oh no, the, the horse is hungry. He's gonna feed the horse and tell the horse a joke because it, it deserves it and they're in the middle of the road and someone just drove through them so that's fun juliet's having a chatty family call with her dad being like hey dad sorry i couldn't go shopping or whatever you wanted to do earlier i had things to do aka I didn't want to hang out <laughs> oops uh, is the lamp in your background real? I want one. Yes, it is real. It does light up. Um, I think it, we, uh, I, my whole space was actually like a surprise remodel. It was a really fun YouTube video. You should go check it out. The Sorry, Sorry Girls on YouTube did it. Um, so, oh, actually we have a surprise guest. Look at this little man over there. <laughs> so sweet. Thank you, Remy, for visiting. Um, and so they actually put that in my space. So I don't know where it's from, but I believe they found it on Etsy uh, somewhere. So there you have it. All right, we're gonna go home. It's Remy, you're Remy. How you doing, Bobby? Oh, big smile. He's giving me a bit of a smile. Here you go, Rimbo. We got a nice roomy cam. If you're watching on TikTok, you might not see, but there's a dog in my room right now. Um, so yeah, we're back home. We have two of our three first kisses. We're gonna have, we're about to have our third first kiss. But we do need to have a breakup. I feel like she should have another kiss and then break up. Maybe we should invite someone else to hang out at our house. Ask to hang out a lot. I feel like we should just have another kiss with someone, probably Romeo Knight. I think we should just kiss them. Cause I'm worried that like, cause I know that one of them says break up. Yeah. No, wait, no, we can do it. Never mind. We'll just, I'm sorry. Because we we will have to break up with Romeo because she's, yeah. So it'll be fine. So actually, because I know there's like a requirement on one of the serial romantics to break up. But it's fine. I, I can't tell if he's coming over. He might not be. He might be. But Steven's hanging out. She's, okay, starting a fire. Cute, I guess. Let's work on your requirements, though. Let's work on your comedy skill, maybe. We'll watch comedy with mom. We're like, sorry, mom, we're watching comedy. 
Actually, we could watch it in the other room and not change his mom's channel, but that's fine. Mom's gonna watch with her, so that's cute. They're gonna watch TV together. So cute! Steven is gonna have some food, because he's hungry. But then after that, maybe Steven can hang out with his own horse, who hasn't seen a lot of love. Yeah, Teardrop is sleeping, but once Teardrop wakes up, we'll hang out. Watch it make it. Oh, actually, we could have Steven try to get over his crush because he has a crush on a girl that it, that is um, his sister's girlfriend. So let's see if he'll get over it or not. And we should have us try to get over it, too. Ooh, Juliet's comedy level five and Steven's mind is clear. He will no longer be plagued with thoughts of Abigail. <gasps> Perfect. So he got over Abigail. Will Juliet get over Abigail? We'll find out. We need her to try to get over her crush as well of Abigail. Maybe, maybe kissing that boy, even though, you know, shouldn't have done that, helped her get over her crush. Let's see. Yep, she got over it too. Sometimes they don't get over it. So that's kind of fun. Um, but we'll have you fill the bowl. Oh, he's showing her memes. So cute. Look at these two. Oh, he's got a hearing aid. I don't think I intended for him to have hearing aids, but he's got them right now. Juliet's always had a hearing aid since she was like a, a young girl, so. Um, but uh, YOLO, it's fine, all good. I don't think I meant to do that, but that's okay. Maybe he just wears it with this outfit in solidarity. <gasps> oh, Mary likes comedy, that's so cute. I bet she could share that with her daughter. That's so cute. Maybe we should make her a lot of jokes. Like make a joke about barnacles. We'll make a knock knock joke. We'll just like tell a joke about fashion. We're just gonna joke it up with our mom. Do an impression. Stories tell a funny story. She's just gonna crack her mom up. Hopefully her mom does not get too, too comedic about it, but it's all good. We're gonna keep working on her comedy skill. She's now level five of charisma and comedy. Oh, look what little guy found. Look at who brought in Fuzzy Baby. Remy brought his toy in the room. Oh my gosh, how cute. Oh my goodness. Well, okay. You, you want me to play? Okay, we're playing now. Oh. oh. Okay. Oh, you're putting in the milestones, Crafty Simmer. Thank you. I thought it was Chewy. No, this Remy. <laughs> they do look kind of similar, don't they? So level three is... We're on level two right now. What was level three again? Uh, achieve level six charisma. Still have a strong romantic relationship with three sims at once and kiss ten sims. Okay. That's going to be her when she's in her Sewing Her Wild Oats era, I think. Okay. Yeah, Remy's toy is very big. I love seeing Teardrop run across the window behind. I know, isn't that cute? Hi, Haney. Remy says, I don't have to I don't have to get ready if I stay ready. <laughs> okay, he's feeling very playful. Why don't you go take on a energetic ride? You're gonna you're gonna level up there. Juliet is working on her maybe charisma. Let's go work on your charisma. Cause you're feeling very playful and so is your mom and s actually your dad's just feeling like romantic <laughs> okay Remy. Remy knocked over the camera because he's very adamant about his stuffed animal fuzzy baby he's he's giving it some lovings yeah you bring fuzzy baby in here to play yes. together Is very sweet. Thank you, Remy. Thank you for coming in here when hanging out with us. That's very sweet of you. All right, so our girl is working on her skills. And Steven, Steven, did you not go for your ride? Bro. Okay, he's hysterical. I'm pretty sure teens can't die from that, so it's all good. What is happening here? Oh, social is poor. Why don't you go talk to? You have the neck rubbies. You know, brush the coat. What are you doing? Give a get this, this hand feed a little bit, you know? Give some apple. Take care of your horse, Steven. You love that horse. Get up, get out there. Don't watch TV. Go watch the horse. 
Guava. Okay, him and his horse are having a good time. Good job. Okay. Teardrop's feeling better, I think. Yeah, now now Teardrop's feeling good. We're going to give more apples. Remy left. Yep, Remy left us with Fuzzy Baby. That's all good, though. All right, Juliet's still working on her skills, so go off, Juliet. <laughs> he's hysterical, so he's going to feed his, you know, his horse some. Bond with Teardrop. And we're going to go on a nice, nice ride. Energetic ride, hopefully. If we don't get, like, bounced off the back of this horse. Let's see. There we go. Go off, King. Why are you not going for your energetic ride? Go on your energetic ride, sir. Okay. There he goes. There he goes. He's doing okay. That's pretty good. We're not mad at that. He's working on a skill. I believe he's level four of horse riding. So he's he's decent. He's like not too bad. Juliet's working on her skill. Mom and dad went to bed. It is a, it's like 1130. So she's going to be, you know, finishing this in a minute here. Okay. Oh, Romeo just became good friends with Juliet. What? I want to see what's happening on social, Vani. Okay. Okay, Misha's like, hey, Basti, hope you're having an excellent day. Apparently, we're just friends now. Who kissed once? The person who invented autocorrect died today. Restaurant in peace. Oh, that's a funny one. Hilarious. Brent and Romeo said the person who invented autocorrect. Oh, he made the same joke. I'm like, bro. I love it. Oh, Steven said I'm happy to have a friend like you. So cute. And the feed. Get you a bestie like Juliet, says Aaron. Oh, Aaron. Maybe we are besties. Maybe Aaron's our secret fourth bestie. Lo go off. So we're maybe besties with Aaron. I like being besties with Aaron. Aaron, Darby, and Arnie, maybe. Darby's definitely our bestie because we talk to Darby the most. We should text Darby everything. Let's see do like a little social bunny messaging to Darby who is our closest friend besides Romeo Knight actually is one of our closest friends but we're gonna so maybe maybe Romeo Knight is our other bestie we need three so this we could do Darby okay Darby's like our best friend and then we could do Romeo Knight Would it be weird to have a bestie named Romeo and date a boy named Romeo? Maybe. But it's all good. <laughs> and then, okay. And then our third will be Arnie, I think. Or Chantel, honestly. Both of them could be our friendies. Well, we're going to go with Arnie first. Because I've been talking about Arnie for a minute. We're just spamming. I'm sorry. I'm not sorry. Okay? It's a speed run. Sometimes a girl's got to do what a girl's got to do. And at this point, girls gotta, gotta, you know, spam messages to people we wanna be our friends. We only have so many days of being a teenager, okay? We gotta get it going here. But Darby is officially like really, really good friends. I think we should become, I think we need to like officially become besties. Like do the official bestie thing, but. But yeah, we just all became good friends, so this is great. How's how's Steven doing? He's loving life. Look at him. Look at him and his horse having a great Was that a vampire? <laughs> Hello? <laughs> we were just walking down the street and flipping Vlad. I was like, okay, Vlad's really excited for the goth pack, the goth kit. Go off, Vlad. Love that for you. <laughs> the Romeos are very hot. Um I made Romeo Knight. He's very hot. And he's now our bestie. But who we've also kind of for a second thought we would like. Oh, Juliet's going off for her face. She's having a bit of a mean streak. Oh, actually, that makes a lot of sense. She's getting her first heartbreak. So she's kind of being mean. I kind of love it. Kind of love it. That's when she's going to go break up. And she's going to kind of like, you know, kiss around a little and stiff. It's going to be great. <laughs> um, But yeah. We're gonna we're gonna be we're gonna be causing some drama and I love it. Steven, meanwhile, so so happy, so playful. Unproblematic king that accidentally Oh. 
Drew's been paranoid? Nah. Disagree. I don't want Drew to be paranoid. So no thank you. <laughs> no thank you. Also, Drew's asleep, so I don't know why he would make a self-discovery while asleep. Doesn't make a lot of sense to me. So uh, we're going to just leave this here. Oh, why are you tense? Oh, hunger is low. Isn't your food trough full? Oh, no, it's not. Okay. Let's quickly refill the feeder for our for our horsey. And then we're going to go to bed. Oh, we can call the horse over. Be like, teardrop, come eat. And then we'll come. We'll go to bed. Perfect. Oh, and Mayor Whiskers is a ghost. Shut up. Mayor Whiskers is a ghost. Cat. Who's barking? It's my dogs. It's the dogs that are here, probably. I forgot about Aaron for BFF. I made him. Oh, nice. Well, Aaron is definitely going to be up there with us because he called us bestie, and I love that. So maybe she'll have a lot of besties. You know, and maybe she'll date half of them. Who knows? <laughs> we love it. She's our chaotic bisexual queen, and we love this for her. She's living her dreams. Um... Oh, but we got some treats for our pets. And we got uh, Stretch Steph watching you. Thank you so much for the stretch. I'm stretch left and right. And we got Ren J. Thank you so much for the stretch. I'm going to stretch my neck here. And we got some treats. Let's see if we can, like, lure in some of my pets here. Oh, Mayor Whiskers is sleeping in the room with them. Okay. All right. Let's see if we can get a dog over here. Yes. We got Chewy. Chewy is a taker. He says, hello, I am Mr. Chew. I am the original Bobby. And I am here and I would like a treat. Thank you. Please and thank you. Oh, are you going to get boop? Get boop? Good job, Chewy. Good job. This is from Aileen CC. The good boy, Chewy. And this one's from Fox Girl Gamer. Thank you, Chewy. Oh, so sweet. She, thank you. So yummy. Was that good, Chewy? Yeah, was that good? Get a little taller view of you. Perfect. Are you gonna hang out with me? Or are you gonna leave as soon as um you know everybody's everybody's not giving treats? Yeah, that's what I thought. Okay. Good times. Good times. <laughs> he came and he left. Uh if you're watching on TikTok. Uh, you're missing, unfortunately, there's not enough room on TikTok for my, like, dog camera to also live. So you might miss, like, seeing my dog pop in and out. But he was just there. Um, I guess one bonus of watching uh, Twitch. But, yeah, Chewy just comes for the treats and leaves us. It's true. He he is just uh, motivated by food. Sometimes, if there's not anything else going on, you know. Oh, look at the cats. Ugh. So cute. Um, sometimes he'll hang out with us longer, but lately he's just not been that interested. I don't know. He's going through a phase. Where do you think Juliet will live when she's a young adult? That's such a great question. I don't know. What do you guys think? She is, her whole kind of thing is being like a social media influencer. Like I could see her, I don't know. She is like a kind of gold generation. What do you guys think? What world do you think she should live in? She could probably go a bit, a bit of anywhere, honestly. Drew, debut. Thank you so much. You're going to go get some food, maybe. He's going to go get some food. He's fine. He's taking care of his own needs. Oh, but we got to get our girl up. <gasps> Feels like it's been forever since Julia has been romantic with her partner. It could be paranoia, but it could be anxiety. But gut feeling Julia can't have what her partner's up to. What her partner's up to and who they're seeing behind her back. Yeah, so she's <laughs> definitely afraid of her partner cheating on her. Spoiler alert, I'm pretty sure they're cheating on each other, which is not good. Pretty toxic. Um, you know, but you know what? This is one of their first relationships. Like, they gotta learn somehow. You gotta learn. I'm not here to judge her little messy drama journey, okay? I'm seeing some castle vibes. Oh, yeah, we were saying maybe a castle. Honestly, that'd be pretty good. Tartosa would be good for a castle. Henford upon Badgley little castle moment. I don't know. That could be a good one for Speak Now, though. I feel like Speak Now and Fearless uh, should both yes. be in castles. <laughs> they both get a castle. You get a castle. You get a castle. Although it'd be cute if Speak Now grew up in a castle. Hmm. So hard to know. Tortosa is Princess Cordelia's home. That's true. Okay, we're going to select 
Julia and Steven follow them to school today. Aaron with a Y, thank you so much for gifting not one, not two, but five What's gifted subs. That? Also, I didn't realize Chewie's, a in, the wild Oprah Chewie's in the hallway. Aaron with a Y, thank you so much for gifting a sub. Welcome into the danger zone to our new members. If you just get gifted a sub, make sure to say a big thank you. But Aaron is now our top gifter of the week, followed closely by the unknown 0077. We love to see it. Uh, okay, so, okay, here we go. Fearless is the country, so maybe Bag Bagley. I'm put on Bagley. That would be a good one too. All right, so we here, we're ready. We're gonna break up with our girlfriend because because we don't we're not we're pretty mad at her. Oh, Aaron Brigley is really cute too. Look at Aaron. I think he should be our bestie too. Um, but we need to become besties with. Um, we need to become besties with our bestie Darby. So let's become best friends. I feel like there's one of them. Become best friends forever. So you gotta be, we have to have three BB BFFs. So Darby is our first one. Okay, Darby is playing football with Romeo Knight, of course. Well, we wanna be BFFs. Pay attention to me. We gotta become best friends forever, Darby. Darby, pay attention to me. Drop that ball. Yay, they're now best friends forever. I love it. It's so cute. Okay. Now they're besties. I don't know why it's an awkward encounter, but they got a deeply connected sentiment. So cute. Where is our girlfriend? You got to find her. Okay. She's definitely downstairs. Is she? Is she? That's Jacqueline. That's Dory. That's Martina. That's Ren. Where is our girl? There's our crush. Romeo Rose. We're supposed to get with today. We have to, okay. Do we have to like call our friend? Okay, where is she? Hello, Abigail. Is she not here? Like, where is she? Some commands. Is she not a teen anymore? No, she's still a teen. Okay, we're gonna like summon her. I'm gonna summon her. She's gonna be right over. You're supposed to be here, cause it's, you know, school. There she is. Perfect, we're gonna break up with her. We're gonna argue about, I thought we would, might be able to like be mad because she cheated on us, but I'm not seeing that. So we're gonna stop chatting with Jarby and we're gonna go break up. I think Jarby helped hype us up to like break up with our girlfriend. So we're gonna go break up with her. We're gonna be like, no more, I'm over you. I got over my crush. I'm leaving you, it's over. And she's all sad. I'm sorry, girl. It is what it is. We need, it. oh, oh my God. Wait, what was that? They're like, they have like a really bad <laughs> relationship now. I wanna see, I wanna see. Guilty and bitter about breakup. Ooh, drama. Ooh, and their crush is like, yeah, over. Love it. Well, drama, drama, drama. Let's go get some food. There's no food. Our custodians here. This this is kind of broken. I don't, I think the mod, I had a mod to add more sibs and it's kind of not working today. We're gonna grab an apple out of our locker, I think. So we're gonna go eat an apple out of our locker to kind of hold us over since it's, you know, the cafeteria worker's not here. <gasps> and look who's there. Romeo, take me some. It's also, she is also crushing on Romeo as well. Where's Steven? Oh, Steven's also kind of hungry. Oh, poor Steven. All right, let's, Steven, why don't you grab an apple out of your food here? Juliet, oh, she's gonna go to, oh. I'm sh I'm certain that Misha Black would be mad to see her flirting with someone else. <laughs> but look at her, she's like, oh my gosh, I broke up with my girlfriend. Cause yeah, so funny, so, so funny. Um, yeah, and she's like giving him all her jokes. Uh, but I feel like he likes her jokes. Romeo, I feel like has found her quite funny, I hope. Romeo, laugh at my jokes. Or this is what work out, because I'm a very funny sim. Okay, there we go. All right, he thought we were funny. Okay, it's all good. 
Yeah. Woo. Oh, Terry Riot, you've been playing the challenge too. That's awesome. I love that. All right, we're going to class. I think. Is she going to class? Oh, someone like ranked the the board. Is are we not going to class? Okay. Kind of looks like we can't go to class. Okay, yeah, this is why is this why is this sim that I do not control wanting to purchase a black mini goat? Go off, I guess. Wait, that's from my money. No, you can't purchase a black mini goat from my money. Why why wait, why? The Sims are the Sims are not simming. I think my mod's not updated and, and working with this new update, which is unfortunate. Um, they're not working out right now. Uh, but it's all good. I actually need to go grab some water. So let's take a mini little little five minute break. I'm gonna grab water. Why don't you guys get some snacks? Um, unfortunately, we're probably not going to get much done at school or maybe it's just hooky day where we do whatever we want, which will be fun. Um, but yeah, I'm having so much fun with you guys. I'm still going to see you guys in just a few minutes. So please stick around. I'll see you just in a bit. Climbing mountains, too blind to see. It's not getting closer to where you wanna be. The light, the weight on your shoulders, trying to pull you down. You fall and you break, you got battles to take. Come on, you figure it out, yeah. 
You fall and you break, you got changes to make now. See the light at the end of the tunnel. It's right there, now just look up and follow. Take one step at a time, babe, I'm with you. All the way. So baby, get up, 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 up. Now don't you stay down, 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 down. Now lift yourself up. What it takes, you're in control here. Don't you forget, you fall and you break. You got battles to take on, but you figure it out, yeah. But you fall and you break. You got changes to make now. See the light at the end of the tunnel. It's right there now. Just look up and follow. Take one step at a time, babe. I'm with you. Oh. Watch me break in your sweat Watch me break in your sweat You're falling into me, touch me I swear You would do anything that I want So keep us awake till the dawn Baby, feel free You wanna make a sweat on me Hello, I'm back. I'm sorry. Thank you guys for being so patient. I got my beverage. I hope you guys got whatever you needed. Refresh. Shout out a bit. I'm glad you're here. Ali Lou, thank you so much for the finger heart. Icebox Latin, thank you so much for the cuddle. And also the confetti. Love it. All right, we're popping back in to our girl. Um, okay, so um feels like my high school years is a little bugged i do have a couple mods on it so i wouldn't be surprised there was an update today so instead let's fall in instead of going to math class let's 
fall in love with Romeo Rose. Um, let's go flatter him. He's such a cutie patootie. I want to know everything about him. We're our own little Romeo. She's fresh out of a relationship, but I think they're just staying friends right now. She's feeling very playful, but it's like great because she's doing her little jokes. You know, that's part of her requirements anyway. Oh, we didn't do the nano influencer. Work at 11 hours. Oops. Okay, well, we'll have that soon. But she's working on her charisma and her comedy. We could even include, you know, Jacqueline in it. Oh, cheerful introduction. We actually don't know Jacqueline personally, so that's good. We'll introduce ourselves to a new friend here. Um, but, like, let's do some, like, funny faces. We can brighten days. You know, just make everybody feel... She has a crush on him, so this is great. She wants to ask him out. Um, she's been wanting to ask him out for ages. Um, so, you know, might be time. We're also going to become best friends forever with Arnie. So that'll be our second BFF, officially. Um, but our morning class ends in a minute and we did not attend, but so did no one else. So in our defense... You know, no one did. Uh, also, there's no one here to serve lunch, I don't believe. So that's part of it. Um, but we all got up. We're becoming besties with Arnie. So that's two down. We need three best friends and we have two right now. So that's perfect. Um, we have, uh, so we need, so, so far we're doing complete serial romantic aspiration. We've completed the first level of the, of four of this. Um, Experience at least two significant breakups. We've done one of them. So that's pretty exciting. Have three best friends. We have two. Join a social career like social media or entertainment. Technically, we did do that. We're still going to do it again. But she is a na nano influencer. Maybe she could take like a little Insta story or something for her simfluencing. Um, take a little Simstagram story. Um, and then we're also working on maxing our charisma and our comedy skills. We're almost to level six on both of those. And then have children with your teenage love, who I think is going to be Romeo Rose. Um, when does she age up? She ages up tomorrow. No, Thursday. So it's Monday. She ages up on Thursday. So we got to go. It is a speed run, my friends. Tomorrow, our dad ages up, actually. So our dad and our mom should get married. Maybe we'll invite someone to be our date to the wedding. Very romantic, a wedding. Uh, but we're all getting... How did you get food? How did you get food? Bro, where did you guys get food? Where did you get food? Why are they all sitting down with their food out of their pockets and we can't get any food? I'm going to eat your hamburger, sir. I'm stealing your hamburger. I'm stealing this hamburger right from, out from him. Okay, she can't. I tried, guys. I tried to steal the hamburger, but we could not. RIP, there really should be an extra C here. I feel like we're, like, where's our C? It's so weird that everyone, all our friends are hanging out without us. And our crush. But you know what? Maybe she'll, she'll uh, take a little time to go upstairs, work on her comedy skill. Tell jokes. Maybe we'll, that's what we're going to do during lunch. We don't need to talk with all our friends. That's what we did all during math class. And <laughs> we were fine. So we're going to go talk. We're going to tell some jokes. Work on our skill. Maybe someone will come upstairs and like, you know, be interested in that. Steven's, I guess, needing food. Did you grab an apple? Go eat your apple. Okay, you got some apple. There. They're getting an announcement. They're probably like, students, none of you went to class. And, they're, and he's like, yeah, no, none of us did. None of us did go to class because it's fucked. <laughs> Any vending machines? Oh my gosh, there are vending machines. We might pop over or buy a vending machine after we ate, like level up. <gasps> Look at our brother! Oh, he is also one of our besties. Look at him. He's celebrating. He's watching her performance and clapping for her. They really are best friends. They're so cute. He is older than her, so I think I'll age up Steven like a day before her. But I think they should also become best friends forever. So cute. I also have a mod where you can have multiple besties. So she is feeling a little breakup blues, but it's all good, girl. We're like having our comedy class right now. Lunch does end soon, but given the fact that, you know, none of our class has been working. Oh, no, get ready for classes there. Okay, let's try to see if our class will work this time. Nope, it didn't. That's all good. We'll finish these jokes and then we'll go get some food and maybe take a shower. 
It's gonna be a, a uh, you know, maybe she just has a, a day kind of like a no work day or something. I don't know. Oh, our class ends super soon. And one of our teachers loved it. You know what? Maybe our comedy day was like part of our class. I don't know. But our brother, oh wow. They both, Juliet impressed her teachers and Steven had a poor day as possible. He might as well have been absent from class. I think he was absent from class. It's ironic that she had a great day and he didn't. That is so weird. Oh, it's saying something about college. I mean, she could go to college, but it is a speed run. So we'd have to go like very quickly through college. I'm kind of feeling like, nah. Steven's off to football. Goodbye, Steven. Practice hard. Good luck at your football. Wow, this is taking forever to finish up her comedy skill, bro. Okay, girl, finish up your comedy quickly. Oh, look who is Chantel's watching us. That's so sweet. Thanks, Chantel, for cheering me on. All right. She could be a comedian. I just don't see that for her, though, to be honest. Oh, my God. All the students are still here. Well, let's grab a snack downstairs. We've reached comedy level six. And, oh, Drew got promoted. Good job, Drew. I'm so proud of you. He's a caterer now. Mm -hmm. Go off, Drew. Love that for us. Okay, she's gonna go get some snacks because she's really hungry and also very stinky. She's gonna get a pepperoni pizza roll up. Kind of sounds delicious, honestly. <gasps> and look who's here. It's Romeo Rose right behind us, even though we stink. Please don't notice that we're stinky. Okay, he seems like kind of over it. Okay, well, we're gonna eat our pepperoni. Oh, he said, ooh. I think he has a crush on us, even though we stink. Don't worry, Romeo. Oh my gosh, is he following us? Where's he going? No, he's not following us. Okay, but like we thought about it. Listen, she's sitting over here. Like I have to get away from Romeo because I stink. Talking to the garden shop owner, Agatha, who's also a teacher. She moonlights as a teacher, okay? The garden shop is not quite working the way it used to. Okay, she's saying goodbye. All right, we should probably go home. But you know what? We, we weren't intending to like go out. We broke up with our girlfriend today. We have to like... I know it's a speed run, but we don't have to be crazy, okay? She could have showered downstairs, but I just felt like school was over for a while, so she should just go home. <laughs> it was dark out. Like, she should go. <laughs> Brynlyn, thank you so much for the heart meet and the team bracelet and the rose. Appreciate that. Please don't name the Speak Now Air Emma. We will, I will, I'm not, I'm not making any decisions right now. Um, I am curious why you don't want that, but I don't know. I think Emma's a cute name. We'll figure it out. Uh, when we, when we get there, I'm not taking any suggestions right now, and I'm no, no promises. Maybe I will. Maybe I won't. But I am curious why you don't want it. Want it? You know. We're gonna take a thoughtful shower. Maybe get some inspiration. We should play some new school. I really should, but I don't know if that'll fix any of the bugs. Um, and we're almost done with school, so I don't know. But you're right. I definitely wanted to play some new school, so maybe we will. She's feeling pretty good. She's tired. She still wants to ask her crush out and she wants to finish writing a book. Okay, girl. She's so creative. My speak now heir is Giselle because that's the name of the princess in the movie Chanted. That's cute. <laughs> Mary just said the Juliet stinks. I'm sure she did. I'm sure Mary was like, you need a bath. You need a bath. I love you. I love you. You need a bath. You are stinky. She needs to have a third first kiss. But why don't you go to sleep? Maybe she could sneak out. I haven't had a sim sneak out yet. That'd be kind of fun. We'd need to replace this window. But we could. We could sneak out. She is kind of a, you know, bit of a bad girl. How's our horse doing? Oh, he's taking great care of our horse. Look at him. Look at him. He's so cute. Him and his bestie teardrop just bonding. So cute. All right, why don't you go for like an energetic ride with Teardrop since you you love Teardrop so much. He's trying to get up uh, uh, his high level horse riding skill and he's doing pretty well. Oh, wow. Oh gosh, do we have, we have work? We're gonna go to work. All right, Juliet, go to work. You got work today. She's gonna go into work. We're gonna, you know, use the toilet. She needs to work on her like, her um, her entrepreneur skill. I'm not quite sure how to do that. Engage in side hustles, odd jobs, and freelance careers. So I feel like we have to like write more 
reviews of things. So maybe we should make a lifestyle review of something else. But we're going to work in like 20 minutes, so we don't really have time to do that. Yep, she's going. She was going to go to bed, but she's going to go to work in like 10 minutes. All right, girl, climb the bed. If you Fight me if you want, but you're going to work in like a few minutes. So, yeah. So I don't know why you did that. That was like silly, but fine. Bye. She's like, I don't want to go to work. I don't want to be a nano influencer anymore. Yes, you do, girl. Okay. You should record a high quality video. Yeah, you should. My Sim's already doing it. I don't know what that'll do, but I love that for us. She's working on her nano influencer -ness. Meanwhile, Steven, man about town. Le level five of horse riding. He will no longer become tense from being up too high on the horse when riding. <laughs> he can also intensely train with horse jumps and barrels. Oh, which we haven't been doing. I forgot about that. Okay, wait, there is that next to us. So let's let's uh practice some barrels together they have not done any of that so you know it's part of his dream to do that kind of stuff with with teardrop we're gonna we're gonna level up our our horse competitions and stuff drew meanwhile these two need to get married i i don't know when they will because i need to throw them a wedding they could just elope. What do you guys think? I don't know. <laughs> he is going to be, he is a horse boy. He grew up a horse boy. That's actually how his mom and dad met. Like Drew and Mary met because he was being trained by Drew at the time. Drew was a horse trainer and then he changed his career because he was interested in being in the culinary career. Uh, but yeah, just elope. I feel like they'd elope. Mm, 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 mm. Yes, 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 yes. Small wedding before Juliet moves out. They should elope. Eloping isn't an awful idea given how much time we have. So true. Maybe they should just elope. Okay, well, what do you guys consider like an elopement? Should we just like randomly go somewhere with the kids and like elope or should they just get married right now? <laughs> Some of you want a wedding. <laughs> Juliet should hook up with someone in the wing. That's so true. That is so true. Maybe we'll have a wedding in the next episode. I think that'd be a good idea. So it's Monday night right now. So maybe we will like kind of plan a wedding really soon. Tomorrow is his birthday. We could do a wedding on Wednesday. That's when Steven ages up. We could do Tuesday night wedding. I think we should do Tuesday night wedding. Go with the kids in elope, but also a wedding, a vacation wedding. Uh, you saying my name would be very distracting when I put on these heavy background noise. Ah, that makes sense. Why like you don't want the name Emma. Fair enough. Okay, we're gonna have a wedding. I guess we'll have it tomorrow. I think maybe Wednesday? I think maybe Wednesday. I don't know. Wednesday wedding sounds weird. We have plus plus being Romeo. That's so true. I think Wednesday, because Tuesday we'll kind of we'll kind of feel out the waters with Romeo, and Wednesday we'll like go to the wedding with him and like kind of fall for him, and that. But then they'll have to break up because she won't be able to. They won't be able to be stay together. Um, so we're gonna start a wedding. We're gonna plan a wedding. Bride and groom already done. We're not gonna do Sims of Honor or officiants. We're just gonna do guests. Okay, so our guests will be just our kids and like their plus ones. So Stephen, Romeo, Rose. Uh, where is our other child? Hello? Okay, Juliet's not listed, which is awkward. I'm gonna wait to plan this then because we want obviously Juliet to come. Okay, Juliet's gotten back. Maybe it was because like she was working. I don't know. But she made a couple, a couple cash money. She got to post a review. Maybe we should like make a little lifestyle review and post it if we have some time. I know she's exhausted, but... You know, never stop, won't stop, never stop hustling. You know what I mean? She's writing that lifestyle review. I don't know why she's doing it on her brother's computer, but she's done it twice now on her brother's computer. So maybe like it's her lucky computer. I have no idea. Okay. And then I know you're so tired. And then you're going to, is it a poor review? It is so poor. Oh, we're going to upload it anyway. We're going to upload it anyway. I knew it would be poor because she's like, not in the mood, but it is what it is. Why are you glitching, girl? Upload your lifestyle review. Girl, do it. All right, now she's doing it. 
She just gained four followers. Great. And none of her entrepreneur skill. Dang it. I don't know how to keep doing entrepreneur. Oh, we're, we're almost there. Okay, she's almost there. We'll just keep hustling. You know, having the side job and school and everything is a lot, but happy for them. Oh no, why is Teardrop sad? Why is Teardrop sad? Why are you sad? You're hungry. Oh, why don't we, f okay. Let's talk to you and cheer you up and we're gonna give you some food, okay? We're going to hand feed you apples because we always keep apples on hand for this exact reason. And we're gonna tell you a nice little joke, okay? And we're gonna cheer you up. You're all good, okay? We love you. We love you, Teardrop. We also need to pee. So no worries that you're tired. We had a good sesh, okay? It is 1 a.m. So let's all go to bed. Let's all go home, okay? Bye, Teardrop. Enjoy, I mean, you can come home. You can hang over there. We don't care. He's gonna use the restroom and then he's gonna kick his dad out of his <laughs> bed. Be like, dad, get out of my bed, please. Thank you, Drew. Bye. And Juliet is sleeping in her mom's. Well, no wonder dad was in his bed. Juliet decided to sleep in her mom's bed. <laughs> she was like, I needed a love and attention. I don't blame you, girl. Sometimes you got to have a cuddle with your family. Okay. I feel like we should take this down, but it's kind of funny to keep <laughs> her and her ex. R.I.P. Okay. So, uh, yeah, we worked on some stuff. It wasn't perfect. Steven's sad because, oh, his horse was sad recently. Oh my gosh, so dramatic. I love it though. You're gonna go use the bathroom and then go back to sleep. Your horse is fine. Teardrop is fine. Teardrop is asleep. I don't know where, but Teardrop is asleep somewhere. Teardrop is asleep over here. Teardrop is fine. Like Everybody's fine. Everything's good. Drew wants to reach level two of mixology skill okay well i don't really want oh she's asking for advice sometimes i get so angry that i don't know what to do with myself how can you deal with things when i can't even do a workout you know or like use, use some skills i don't know he needs to work on his mixology still steven's still sad because his horse was sad today bro we need you to stop breaking stuff in the house Julia, are you going back to sleep? Go to sleep in your bed. What is your deal, girl? She's like, anywhere but my bedroom. Is there some like music on or something? Why do you guys keep waking up? Is there something on? What is going on with you guys? No. Why, why, why? Sometimes this bug happens. I'm gonna save here. <laughs> um. And we're going, oh, Julia, be the flower girl. That's really cute. Okay, we're going to manage worlds and we're going to pop back in. Big fan of your Sims. Thank you, Burr. And thank you for the pink shoes and ice cream cone. And Ellie, thank you so much for the heart me. Ooh, it might have been the TV. I forgot about the TV. Sometimes it's a bug. Sometimes it's the TV. Let's see if it was the TV. I'm glad crushing on the same person didn't tear Steven and Julia apart. Me too. They really, they really were mature about it and I love that for them. <laughs> there was drama, but not between them, okay? They're still besties. Okay, go to sleep, both of you. And the TV better not be on. It's not on, so I don't know. Okay. Okay, now everyone's sleeping. Oh, Misha became good friends with Steven and so did Romeo and so did Leland. Aww. Look at Steven making some besties. And Chantel became good friends with Juliet. Love that. Oh my gosh, and we got school in about an hour. Honestly, part of me wants to send them alone and hang out with them more after school. But then again, at school, we could like become better friends with Romeo. Yeah, we're gonna follow them both. My, my school is broken, but I still want to hang out. <laughs> Where's Chewy? He's in the other room. He's decided to, to hang out in the other room. What's up, Pepe? How are you doing today? Papatas, uh, thank you so much for the heart meet as well. Ask Romeo on a date after school. Oh my gosh, yes. We should. We should ask Romeo on a date after school. Oh no, we're both hungry. 
Okay, we're gonna have some vending machine food because nothing's working lately. So let's go purchase snacks at the vending machines. No worries, guys. You guys will have breakfast at the vending machine. Vending machine breakfast. Oh, she wants to she wants to chat with Darby because they're besties. Ooh, yeah. Let's chat with Darby. And Darby should be like, girl, you should totally ask out your crush. Like Romeo. Meant to be. Okay, are we are we doing this? Okay, great. You're gonna have the veggie peach the roll up. And you are gonna also have something. You're gonna eat. Okay, Juliet's items can be found in her inventory. Cute. He's gonna have the pepperoni pizza roll up. So you're gonna eat your roll up and he's gonna eat his roll up. And we're all gonna have a roll up for breakfast this morning because there has not been any food at the cafeteria. Um, okay. And who else is around? Romeo Knight is around. He's our bestie. Is this Darby? No, that's not Darby. That's one of our other friends though. Here's Romeo Knight. No, Romeo Rose. That's our crush. Our crush. Let's like go kind of flirt with them a bit. Ah! Cause she's feeling confident. So she's going to go do it. She's going to be like, I'm going to do it. And she wants to have some fun. So it's like kind of perfect timing. Okay. Where did he go? Uh oh, he's like in a combo with a bunch of people though. Maybe we shouldn't flirt with him in front of- <gasps> Oh, I thought he was the one on the- on the bike, but he wasn't. Cold pickup line, be like, you're looking good today, Romeo. Kind of like get him out there. Oh my gosh. But honestly, so, like Aaron Brinkley's also looking pretty cute. We should compliment his appearance. Be like, you look really good today. But also here's a knock knock joke. Knock knock. <laughs> She's so nervous. We'll flatter him, but she really wants to ask him out. So I feel like maybe they'll ask uh, she'll tell him, like, ask him out on a date after school today. Propose a crazy scheme. And we'll tell him more jokes. Because we're now at level six of comedy. We're level five of charisma, so maybe we should do more charismatic things. I think compliments is like, her charismatic stuff. We'll flatter him. We'll do the romantic ones that are charismatic. Okay, none of them. Apparently none of them. He likes our compliments. That's good. And she's working on her charisma skill. It's going well. So maybe we'll brighten day. That's a good one for being charismatic. And what other things can we do? Should we confess our crush to him? <gasps> no, we'll brighten his day again. And then we'll uh, compliment his appearance. Is that still charisma? I cannot tell. We're so close, though. I think it is still charisma. Romeo's really feeling us. He's like really on it. Oh, it's so cute. Tell him an unbelievable story. We are almost level six of charisma. Boom, there it is, level six. We got through two more levels, guys. Romeo is flirty. We could ask him to prom, but we're gonna age up before prom. So we can't ask him to prom, but we're gonna reveal our crush on him. <laughs> we're gonna be like, we actually kinda had a crush on you since forever. And he's like, really? And she's like, yeah, I do. Oh my gosh, he loves it. And now he's like, I don't know what he's complaining about, but it's very cute. Meanwhile, Steven's also at school and he's taking a shower because he's stinky. <laughs> Juliet's gonna go see the restroom. She's feeling so confident about talking to her crush. Smooth talker. Oh yeah, that went so smooth. Juliet was cool as a cucumber around her crush. And I believe in me, she's feeling confident. Feeling I got this. She's feeling close connection. Had a pleasant conversation with him. She enjoyed the food that she just ate. She's loving life right now. We gotta tell Darby all about it, okay? We're gonna go be like, Darby, 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 Darby. Girl, listen, listen. What just, he's literally right there. She's like, listen what just happened though. Okay, girl, 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 girl. I gotta tell you everything. <laughs> I gotta tell you everything. It's almost Steven's birthday. I know. I know it's almost Steven's birthday. And Darby's a party animal. I actually love that for us. 
This could be so fun. Um, Steven's my fave. Selling painting is also gets entrepreneurial skill up. Ooh, maybe that'd be fun if she like goes and like does a painting today in the art room. Maybe she's practicing art today. So she's gonna go. Okay, I was gonna sell that painting, but it's fine. We can do a small classic painting. She's never done painting before in her life, but she's gonna do it now because it's her class assignment. We're making that up because right now everything's broken. It's almost Julia's birthday. I know, don't remind me. Also the wedding is coming up and she's so gonna invite her, her crush, Romeo. She also wants to ask him out. So that's definitely gonna happen. Um, Juliet's painting her painting. Hopefully we'll be able to sell it and then we'll get our entrepreneurial skill up. Does Steven like anyone? Steven had a crush on, uh, on Abigail, but then obviously that kind of blew up in his face. And they were prom dates, see? Steven stayed to the prom. Does he have a crush on anyone else? I don't think so. But he like, he could. Yeah, I don't think he has a crush on anyone else yet. Do you guys have any ideas for him? Um, almost all the guests to be their class, kids' classmate. I think they're just gonna not invite their friends, but they're gonna invite like, like the the kids and then the kids can bring a date if they want. I feel like Juliet's gonna be like, can we bring dates? <laughs> and the mom's gonna be like, uh, and Mary's gonna be like, yeah, sure, that's fine. Oh, she's painting level three. I didn't realize she already had some painting skills from being like creative and also going to school as a kid. Yes, now she's level two with the entrepreneurial skill. Thank you for that hot tip. That was very useful. And she has work in eight hours. Shoot, she has work. <laughs> no, he also has, I think, class, or like, yeah, he has his uh, football team stuff and he has not practiced football. Oops. But he's not, you know, he's just a member on the team. I don't think he's ever meant to be like the star quarterback. Uh, but let's go keep talking to our friends, I guess. What else do we need to do? Charisma. Oh, Steven likes romance enthusiasts. That's so cute. Who are you talking to, Steven? Was it your sister? Like, who is it a romance enthusiast that you're interested in, bro? Come on. Really? Well, I don't know, but let's go introduce yourself to Chantel because you don't apparently know her. And she's one of your sister's really good friends. So might as well say, hey. Will Steven and Juliet share a starter home or will they both have their own? That's such a great question. I don't know if he'll like, He'll move out with her. What do you guys think? Should he? Should they like move in together or should she move out on her own? <laughs> I could see them living together for like a little while and then him moving out and doing his own thing. Um, maybe like after like a little while. Um, roomies, yeah, move in together. You just can't put, uh, you, I think you can sell other paintings that are finished, you just can't put them in inventory. You can, but that p painting wasn't finished, and so we couldn't sell it. But we could have if, if it was finished. Steven unlocked the people person lifestyle. How cute! And he has a pristine reputation. That's really cute. I love that. She's feeling playful. She's like, I'm crushing life right now. I'm exhausted. She is also hungry. Dang it. All right, let's like grab another apple, I guess, and eat it and then maybe take a nap. I don't know what to do here. Okay, school is done. And Juliet impressed her teachers and Juliet and Steven sucked as usual. Like what the heck, <laughs> so random. Okay, let's have both of you go home, I guess. Poor Juliet just like hasn't been able to fully sleep. And they've got like work and stuff after school. Oh no, this is unfortunate. Uh, make two homes on one lot like you didn't <gasps> wait that would be perfect we could make like two homes on the same lot like we did with the uh, roseberry gen and we could do like townhomes okay hello did they just leave okay my sims is a little glitchy i might have to pull out some of my mods and see what's going on and make sure all of them are updated oops Princess Emily, uh, Princess Emma Riley, thank you so much for the compliment. I combined the names in, in my brain while I was reading it quickly. Uh, thank you, Emma, for knowing the rules of this requirement challenge. I appreciate you. We have work in five hours. Oh, so she's got a bit of time, but but I don't think her brother does. I think he starts. Oh no, he doesn't have he doesn't have it today. 
Okay, cool. So then technically she could go out on a date, but she's got a lot to do. Um, so she might not ask him out on a date. Maybe she'll save this for like someday. I don't know. But she needs some food. So let's get her some leftovers. I just want to get her. I don't want to leave her with all her needs. Like needy, you know? So we're going to get her to eat something. Maybe go to bed for once. Um... She's just a hustler, you know? Who's calling Steven? One of my friends heard about how great you are and has been asking to meet you. Can I give them your number? Yes. Yes. Who is it? I want to see if anyone just showed up. Is it Jacqueline? I want to know. Who do you guys think it is? I... Would it just be like someone really random? I wish it would pop up. I don't think it did. So you guys need to tell me like whose number did he just get? I need to note the tea. Maybe Romeo was one that got away and reconnects later in life. That's what I'm planning for sure. I think Mary needs a makeover. Probably she does look pretty young. She looks about her children's age, so that's fair. She probably does. Dory for sure. It was Dory. Mm, okay. Gabby, thank you so much for the GG's. Patas, thank you so much for the roads and the ice cream cone. You'll get a pop up. I know I do, but I, but like that has been bugged for me for so long that i'm just making it up on my own i'm like sometimes i gotta just make my own plot work because <laughs> uh it's not gonna help uh i do not accept fan mail right now but i do appreciate all the sentiments you guys tell me like in person um if you you know if you're interested in sending me anything i apologize i don't have an opportunity to do so right now um but you know i'll let you know in the future if i ever change my mind on that but for right now, that's just kind of where I'm where I'm at. Um, but I remember you from the 100 Baby Challenge. Nice. I I'm still uh, doing a 100 Baby. I'm doing a 100 Infant Challenge now. Uh, it's been pretty great. If you haven't seen it, check it out on my YouTube channel. Um, and I know this is kind of like a not so exciting ending, having her like taking a nap in bed, but it's about that time, guys. I gotta head out. Um, but thank you guys all so much for tuning in. This was so much fun hanging out with all of you guys and all of your guys' ideas. Next episode will be the wedding where we finally get together with Romeo after all this time. Finally, we're getting together with Romeo, but of course, it is not meant to last. Long distance will break them, but then, you know, they're going to get back together. So, uh, it's going to be so much fun. I'm excited to play all of that with you guys on Thursday. So, I'll see you guys there. If you're new, make sure to hit that follow button so that you don't miss out on a new stream. But if you aren't new, but you don't remember when I stream, I stream on Tuesday, Thursdays at seven or 4 p.m. Pacific Standard Time. 4 p.m. Pacific Standard Time and on Sundays at like 11.30 Pacific Standard Time. So I will check you out on one of those times. But if you can't remember any of that, don't worry, make sure to put that, um, you can put your little alarm on for um, the alert button or whatever on Twitch. And uh, if you are on TikTok, you can always follow me on Instagram. I tend to post when I go live on there as well. I also post on TikTok when I go live. So just follow me there and you should, you should probably get notified at some point. So I'll see you guys later. I hope you have a, a great rest of your night. And until then, I'll see you on the internet very soon. Bye.